Okay. Ah. Well, this is insanely bizarre. What the hell is this? Chaz and Dave? Is that what this is? I, what is that? Alright, we got another three four groove going here. Everybody loves the three four. And this sounds like a song that Ringo Starr should have sung on. Alright, I have clues as to Chaz and Dave. Nice nice live big drum sound, I like that. Sounds a little like ELO. Rigo Star with ELO. I don't know. But you went and blew it. almost sounds like Harry Nielsen. Very, very sophisticated kind of. Uh, Pop going on here. Well, that guy looks familiar. Is that Chaz? Or is that Dave? If that's Chaz. Chaz who? Chaz? What? What year is this? Seventy. Seventy-three. Seventy. Seventy-five. Gotta love the ties. Drums almost sound like a drum machine, but... That doesn't sound like a drum. This is kind of very bizarre music. This should, this should be in an Andy Warhol movie. Yeah, there's some money behind the project because they have a full orchestra. They've got a guy named Chaz, and one of them plays a nice white piano. And they both got piano ties. They cut. What? This is perplexing. It's almost like a show tune. I expect Olivia Newton-John to come in. Ooh, the Hanson Brothers? I'm perplexed. Chaz and Dave? That sounds made up. That guy's known to have a tip back a few if you know what I'm saying. bother to plug in the bass. They're like, ah, I don't even fake it. You don't even need to fake it. Just get up there and do your Chaz and Dave thing. This is, this is a, it's good stuff. I just never, I, how is it that I've not heard of so many things and I thought I've heard of so many other things? Yeah, just when you think you know everything, you don't know anything. Or somewhere in between there. Chaz and Dave. <coughs> no. Chaz, what is it? Chaz Chandler? That's not Chaz Chandler. What is this? Chaz and Dave. Chaz Hodges. Dave Peacock. Well, that explains nothing. Hold on a second. Chaz, let's look up Chaz Hodges. Now, Chaz became a professional musician at the age of 16, playing bass guitar. All right. Well, worked with Richie Blackmore, backing Jerry Lee Lewis. 
and Bill Haley and Gene Vincent. Well, now that's some old school shit right there. All right. Okay, Hodge. Hodges. Hodges has some credentials. All right, I can't read all this right now, but he's worked with a hell of a lot of people. Now, hold on a second. What was the name of that one? Ain't No Pleasing You. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Okay. I see a tie in here. What is it? Chaz. Chaz is on the demo for Telstar. Oh, shit. There you go. Something's going on here. There's some sort of tie-in to Muse with this Chaz and Dave. Somebody trying to trick you? I don't know. Who, who suggested this and why? Probably a Muse fan? I'm not amused. No, it's very interesting. There's some mention of Joe Meek in there. He's like a producer, and I think he's involved with the uh, Telstar thing. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll see. That is bizarre. That was a bizarre one. <laughs> Thank you very much.